si Tito Leo. Bye. Bye. check it's already 11:15 na noon and nagstop over kami dito sa Hills View Trento ayan Hills View Trento so dito na kami magla-lunch ayan so right now we are still at Agusan Sur but alam po ito na yung boundary i'm just not so sure i'm new here <laughs> ayan Ang solid na solid talaga. Have si Kuate. Good coffee, puto maya. Ayun ang maliliit na kaldero. So, comparison. <laughs> It's so tiny. Ayan, meron na tayong ibang small caldero. Puto, balinghoy. Balinghoy, puto. Ang cute. Ang cute dito sa camera, oh. Wow. Si Tito Leo. Hi. Hi. Maliliit na kaldero. Kain. <laughs> Yan. Balik biyahe na ulit. Kami ay busog na. Busog-lusog. Hello everyone. So we have finally arrived here at Gulia de Maria Homestay. And... I got busy because we arrived here at around 4 p almost 4 p.m. and I was trying to catch the sunset or the light because for the videos because um, since I only go here once in a blue moon almost so what's happening is I have to shoot everything all the TikTok content clips and everything all at once so that we'll have sufficient footage for future TikTok videos. So I got so busy with that. And I think it's already around 5 p.m. already. And it's starting to get cold and it's starting to get super windy here at Villa de Maria Homestay. But this place looks really, really beautiful. It's like um, today, there is a Christmas decorations and it's so beautiful. <laughs> Merry Christmas! <laughs> so Merry Christmas guys from me to you and I hope you stay here at Villa de Maria Homestays real soon because the view is really beautiful and the weather is so nice, the climate is always cold in here and it's truly 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 relaxing and a while ago I had a sip of Sikwate and it was really great like super great <laughs> it's a super jam-packed day because a while ago in the travel it took us around eight hours to get here almost yeah 
It took us eight hours to get here from Agusan del Norte. So it's really laban. <laughs> so ayon. So we left at around 8 a.m. and then we had lunch somewhere in Trento. And then after that is we went straight here at Villa de Maria Homestay and we arrived at around 4 p.m. in the afternoon. It's a really jam-packed day and I wasn't really able to vlog our journey because because our speed the speed of the car is like because the speed of the car is like 110 to 120 kilometers per hour <laughs> Making me nervous as a Tagalog char. Because, de ba, sa Luzon, it's like we just drive 80, ganyan 90. That's really fast already. Because there's a lot of traffic and there's a lot of like establishments. But a while ago, ano talaga kami? 100, 110, 120. All throughout the trip, so parang gudung gudung ako. So sobrang ano niya, sobrang uga niya. And I just really want to rest. <laughs> um, so in a bit, we are gonna head back to my tita's house in Davao City. And I just can't wait to see Percy the cat. Ayan. So I know you guys already know Percy the cat. Ayan. So yeah, I'm, I'm actually still in shock because a while ago, nag fly over kami and our speed was like 110 kilometers per hour and usually parang ganun yung mga napapanood ko sa news na mga bus na tumatalon sa at sa flyover so <laughs> so medyo nakakaloka siya parang okay sige um people here are pros naman ayun <laughs> so culture shock from here and there from left to right pero kaya natin yan so later hopefully makapag yoga pa ako and there's also a bunch of work that I have to do so I hope I get it done because I want to have a stress-free holiday season Ayan. so let's go na hello everyone so welcome back so may jo hagard hagard tayo for today's video ayan so Ayon, so right now we are here at Los Amigos here in Davao and we are just waiting kasi parang may tinatali yata na manok over there. I'm not sure baka dalhin namin yung manok. And then sa likod ko ay may plants. Pinadala na ng auntie ko yung mga plants para masimulan na ng dahan-dahan yung pag-landscape dun sa Balay San Roque. Ayon, so... Um, yesterday, I also took a break then muna. And then this cup is from Glory Ann. Ayan, so medyo inuga-uga yung car. Kasi I think para ma-full tank talaga yung car. I'm not so sure if that's safe. But I guess we'll be fine naman. Ayan. So, ayun. So, yesterday, the previous days when we got here in Davao, we just really hanged out and bond. So, Pagdating namin dito sa Davao, nakipag-hangout lang din talaga kami at nakipag-bonding with my relatives or our relatives pala. So, pagdating namin dito sa Davao is nakipag-bonding lang din talaga kami with our relatives. So, sobrang saya. And then yesterday, I met up with my friend, Glory Ann. So, Glory Moore. And then I bought this cap from her and sobrang nice siya. So, match na match siya sa aking outfit. Ayan. And then, this shirt naman is from my cousin, Gan. Ayan. So, sobrang fun talaga to be with relatives. And, yeah. So, right now, we are here at Los Amigos. So, yung lolo and dito ko is meron silang parang farm farm over here. And, I heard marami daw chickens. So, let's go check it out. Hi! <laughs> Yeah. 
daming nokma dito. So, sobrang daming mga nokma dito. Like, super daming nokma, oh. Mga manok! Manok, manok! And then, marami din pala ditong durian, lansones, ayan. Pero hindi pa siya season right now, kaya wala pa tayong mga harvest na durian, mga lansones, may cacao din. So, sobrang loaded itong farm. Ayan. So, marami talagang mga manok dito. Kasi ang family namin ay mahilig sa mga manok. Manokers. Oh. Manok fight. Ang strong na mga manok dito. Yung mga manok, yung mga manok dito extra strong. Ay dito. Hello. <laughs> Ini mama. Di Lady, lady, na lady, lady. Chicken time. So dito sa Los Amigos, sa farm dito is maraming mga manok, maraming lansones, maraming puno ng durian, ganyan. Pero most of all, ang pinaka-outstanding member ng farm na to ay ang mga manok. Ayan, nagagpanok. Daghan ng manok. Ay, piso. Ah, so, pupunta tayo sa mga sisiw. Ayan. So, as per my tito, yung mga sisiw dito ay mga 100 plus. So, puntahan natin ang mga Hello, mga new chickens, mga piso. Hello, chickens, mga little kid, little chickens. Wow. Oh, daghan. 
<laughs> Ilan to sila lahat lo? One. So, 51. Kamusta ang feeling pag maraming manok lo? Okay lang. Parang dagdag buhay. Mm -hmm, dagdag buhay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, the more chicken, the longer the life. <laughs> So, yun si, so yun pala si Lolo Anon. Yan, dito din pala ay may mga itlog na nililimliman na mga mother chicken. Mga chicken mama. Yan, dito yan sila. Nokma, nokma. So yung winning line namin. Mm. Winning line. Mm. Wow. Alam mo yung pinggol. Ano po yung tita? Alin po yung pinggol. Alin po yung pinggol. Yung winning line. Ah, winning line pala itong uh, manok na to. Uh, <laughs> anak to sa A-Times Champion. Uy, wow! Wow! Champion line pala yan. Ganda. <laughs> Keep it your line. Oh, we can do. Crudo Boys! Crudo Boys! Hello! Hindi mo ka upihak! Ayan, so we are back. And yung mga chickens, nasa likod na sila. As well as yung plants. So I think yung mga chicken is doon na siya ipapastay doon sa bahay ng aking grandmother. And then, yun, sabong-sabong na yun, ganyan, pansabong manok is life dito. So, Mindanao is pansabong manok is life. Ayan, so, yun din yung sabi ni Lolo Anon. So, si Lolo Anon yung na-meet natin kanina na Lolo, na nagpakita ng mga maliliit na mga sisil, ganon. Yung chickens pala dito sa Los Amigos farm nila Lolo ay mga hundred plus yung mga chicks, yung mga maliliit na mga chicken. So, yung next stop natin as far as I know is pagmunta naman tayo sa um, pagawaan ng mga furniture, yung mga ratan-ratan. Para if ever may magustuhan kami, is i-order na namin para sa Balay San Roque. So, when we get back to Agusan del Norte, ipapakita ko din sa inyo kung ano yun na yung itsura ng Balay San Roque. So, malapit-lapit na po kami mag-lunch. And I hope that I hope and pray that you support us. Ayan. Okay, so let's go. Let's go. Hello, everyone. So, nakabili na kami ng mga ilaw dito sa Tuburan, Davao. Ayan. So, super dami niyan. Siguro mga 15 pieces. 8, 7. Marami tayong nabiling ilaw sa Tuburan, Davao.
kumain na kami dito sa AXL AXL Bibingka and the food was really good and it's nice na ang cute na parang kagaya sa all home na parang may bahay-bahay siya dun sa pinaka dining booth ayon so uh, the food is really great and I'm just so happy kasi meron na kaming mga ilaw ayan so nandun na sa likod yung mga ilaw as well as yung mga plants ganyan so almost complete na kami for Balaisan Rock eh. ayan so it's really 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 nice so ayun so right now is patravel na ulit kami pabalik ng Agusan del Norte so it's ang expected time talaga doon is like 8 hours ganyan so ayan wish us luck guys so,